Today I want to talk to you about our ambush lineup of firearms. So our ambush configurations come in three different calibers. We have 300 Blackout, 5.56, and 6.8 SPC2. The main difference between these three calibers is that the 300 Blackout is going to come with a 16 inch barrel. The 5.56 and the 6.8 both come with an 18 inch barrel. What you'll notice difference from these versus the rest of our lineup is that they all have a thread protector on the end. They don't come with a flash header. Well, why is that? Well, as a hunter, I know that I want to have the option to put a suppressor on the end of my rifle if I'm out coyote hunting, or if I'm trying to shoot longer ranges at deer or whatever it may be, I might want to put a muzzle brake on the end. We leave that option up to you guys, the end user. All of these configurations are going to come with a Cryptic Highlander Hydro Dip finish, um, as well as a Geisley SSA two-stage trigger, ambidextrous selector lever, as well as a Daniel Defense ambidextrous grip and rip charging handle. These rifles are designed with hunters in mind and are an ideal rifle for any hunting condition that you might be in. introduced the St. Victor line, and it's been met with a lot of success. Every one of them has been purpose-built to professional standards. So the value for the money is outstanding. The one thing that was missing from our Victor line was one in 308. Eugene Stoner originally designed the AR platform rifle in a 308. When they transitioned to the 5.56 round, they gave up power. The 308 round is the superior cartridge in almost every way. In reality, if you're not in the military, going on 30, 40 mile treks, humping an 80 pound rucksack, there's no reason you wouldn't want a 308. The St. Victor and 308 brings together the power of the 308 and the lightweight mobility of an AR platform rifle. The St. Victor and 308 comes with a 16 inch lightweight profile barrel. It's melanite coated inside and out. The muzzle brake is proprietary built in-house. It's got a mid-length gas system, and it comes with a pin gas block, something that's a must in any serious use rifle. It comes with a full-length 15-inch handguard that's got M-lock attachment points all around it. It's got our enhanced nickel boron coated flat single stage trick. It's got the AccuTite system, which eliminates movement between your upper and lower receiver. The Bolt Carrier Group is designed to withstand the power of the 308. The Bolt is HP MPI tested. The way it ships with flip up iron sights weighs 7.8 pounds. This is a purpose built defensive package. It is mobile, it's lightweight, it's maneuverable, it's powerful. It's the perfect rifle for when things go bad. I want to talk to you about our DDM4 V7. This lightweight modular rifle would make a perfect addition to anybody's gun safe. It comes standard with a 16-inch government profile barrel and a mid-length gas system. It also comes standard with our MFR 15.0 M-Lock rail. The M-Lock rail has a patented bolt-up system which is extremely rigid and durable and can take any beating you would give it on the range. This rifle comes in just over six pounds, which makes it extremely maneuverable and easy to move around barriers. Also, if you're out shooting all day, it's not extremely heavy. It comes standard with our Daniel Defense bolt carrier group. Those are MPI tested, extremely durable, full auto rated bolt carrier groups. They do come standard with a mil spec trigger. They all will come with an ambidextrous selector lever, which is great for lefties or righties. And you have the ability to switch from the long side to the short side with uh, just removing a small little screw here and you can switch your long selector to either side that you want. It's also gonna come standard with Daniel Defense rubber over molded furniture, which is extremely comfortable. Overall, the DDM4 V7 is a perfect rifle for anybody, from beginning shooters all the way up to the pros.
Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, professional shooter for Team Smith & Wesson, and I'd like to show you the new Smith & Wesson M&P 15T rifle. Some of the features of this rifle, it comes with a six position adjustable buttstock. Forward of that, it has the Magpul M-Bus flip-up side assemblies, both front and rear. Going down from there, it comes with the integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is a 13 inch free floating M&P Slim handguard with M-Lock capability. It ships with a two inch section of M-Lock rail, so if you want to attach a vertical grip or a sighting assembly, you can do that. The barrel is a lightweight contour. It's a 16 inch barrel, comes with a mid-length gas system. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO with 5 all rifling and a twist in 8, so it accepts the lightest bullet onto the heaviest bullet. It also has an armor knife finish both interior and exterior for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. The barrel assembly is topped off with Smith & Wesson's proprietary flash suppressor. It also offers a mild degree of a muzzle brake. It's all topped off with the Magpul 30 round PMAG. This is the exact model Smith & Wesson rifle that I used to set a current world record speed shooting title with of 10 shots on four different targets and 1.59 one-hundredths of a second. Bringing you your first look today at the DD5 Hunter. Now, this is our newest addition to the DD5 series of rifles going to come with all of the standard upgrades that you're going to see on a regular DD5 including our grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle, the new super finished DLC coated bolt, our adjustable gas block and our superior suppression device. Some of the things that are going to be unique to this rifle uh, you'll notice right off the bat is our cryptic Highlander camo that's going to be on here and something you may not notice is going to be a Geisley SSA trigger. We haven't forgotten about all our hunters out there, our fans of the product that use this for game pursuit, and that's one of the reasons that this trigger is in here. It's a nice two-stage trigger that's really going to help you out when it comes to taking a little slack out of that trigger, tracking that game across the field, and then squeezing off that round right when you need to. It's going to be available in two new calibers, our 6.5 Creedmoor and 260 Remington, as well as the old standby 308 Winchester. It's going to also be available in 18 and 20 inch barrels, so you'll have your choice of that. This is the Ruger AR556 MPR, chambered in 450 Bushmaster. What sets this rifle apart is a high strength super alloy bolt with a unique bolt lug geometry, making it the strongest, most reliable modern sporting rifle chambered in 450 today. This rifle features an 18 and 5 8 inch nitrided barrel for accuracy and velocity, and it's capped with a radial port muzzle brake to help tame the recoil of the cartridge. Of course, it started 11 16 24, which is a standard thread pitch for suppressors for these big bore cartridges. We have a 15 inch free flow M lock handguard that gives you a lot of adaptability and versatility. And it sits over our carbine length gas system that's the most reliable way to power a 450 Bushmaster AR. The upper and lower receivers are machined from mil spec forgings, hard coat anodized, and features an enlarged port for reliable injection. Ruger's Elite 452 Trigger gives you a sure, crisp trigger pull and is paired with Magpul's MOE Grip and MOE SL buttstock. With a 5 round magazine, a cartridge that delivers twice the energy of 556 NATO, this becomes a perfect rifle for big whitetail, bear, pigs, and heavy steel. Hi everyone, Bighorn Armory here. In this video, we'll give you a quick rundown of the AR500 rifle, the most powerful AR on the market, chambered in 500 Auto Max. But we'll get to that in a minute. Right now, let's take a look at the rifle. The AR500 is built on a modified AR10 size frame. It has all the features you'd expect from a premium AR. 7075 billet aluminum receivers, 
ambidextrous safety selector, ambidextrous bolt release. It has a flared magazine well and anti-walk trigger pins. The lower is machined to accept AR-15 size magazines which hold the 500 auto max round. The upper receiver has an enlarged ejection port for case clearance, a free float M-lock handguard with a full length Picatinny rail, has an 18 inch stainless steel barrel with an adjustable gas block, and of course it's threaded and comes with a muzzle brake. What really sets the AR-500 apart from all other ARs, of course, is the cartridge, the 500 Auto Max. This is a rimless 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum designed to feed from a box magazine and a semi-auto rifle. This gives the shooter all the power and versatility of the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum but in a capable, comfortable, and familiar semi-auto AR. The 500 Auto Max cartridge is extremely versatile. Factory loads are available between 350 and 600 grains. For the reloader, bullets are available between 200 and 700 grains in almost any style possible, including hard cast, jacketed hollow points, monolithic solids, etc. This makes the 500 Automax capable of handling anything from light skin game to the largest, toughest animals on the planet, and then some. The 500 Automax is very easy to reload. It uses the same shell holders, shell plates, dies, loading data as the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, but we'll cover that in another video. The AR500 and 500 Automax is more than capable of reaching out to 200 yards or so when sighted in a few inches high at 100 yards. This is more than adequate for the vast majority of hunting situations. We'll go over loads, velocities, and trajectories in another video. So if you're a big bore fan or a current 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum owner, you definitely owe it to yourself to check out the Bighorn Armory AR500 Chambered and 500 Auto Max. It's the most powerful AR on the market, and with the amazing bullet selection available, it's an incredibly versatile platform.